What is going on, guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about companion gear in ESO. And there's been a lot of complaints over the last couple of days because of the prices becoming so high in the guild traders. And of course, that's because we have two new companions coming out with this Necrom chapter. Now, I do know that it is annoying to have to pay some extreme prices for even some blue gear sometimes. I mean, purple gear is unobtainable for some people if you have not played the game for a long time and have enough gold. But the one thing that I think uh, Zoss really needs to do is find some way to add companion gear crafting into the game along with the other crafting options we have. And I think this would solve a lot of problems, but it also would be good for people that sell gear as well because you could craft companion gear and sell it. Now, would the price be as high as it is now? No, of course not, because it would not be as in demand as it is. But I still personally craft a lot of gear sets and sell them even some of them being older ones like Giuliano's uh, here on PlayStation and can still sell those very well. So no matter what really the option is there crafting wise, you still be able to make some money off of it if that's what you're looking to do. But it would make it more accessible for everyone. And I feel like new players really don't have an option to get companion gear unless they're just going to go out and farm. So if you are a new player, that would be the one thing that I would recommend. Uh, find a friend if you want to go in with two of you and both of you have your companions out, and go do some you know, dungeons, even if you do it on normal, uh, and just farm them. And that way you can get some companion gear drops. That's usually where I get my best drop rate, personally. I know there's a lot of other ways people are getting their companion gear to drop, but personally for me, that's the way that I get them the most often, and get some pretty decent uh, pieces. But like I said, I'm not sure if Zoss will ever add that option in for us to be able to craft that gear but just seeing a lot of people talking about lately how much the gear has gone up kind of just made me think about this again. Um, this has been talked about a lot uh, over the uh, you know over the years since the companions have been added into the game about players wanting the option to be able to craft their own gear because prices are crazy. And when companions first came out, if you did not play the game then, the prices were even crazier in my opinion. Uh, they were, you were talking millions for some of these purple pieces, and I still see those from time to time. Uh, on console, of course, but the prices have dropped a bit, but they're still nowhere near feasible, like I said, for a lot of people. So I'm hoping one day Zoss will decide to add companion gear crafting into the game. But if not, like I said, if you are new to the game, the best way I can kind of help you out anyway, or, you know, give you an idea of how to get this gear is either shop around if you're going to just, you know, absolutely you say, I'm going to buy it, shop around for maybe blue gear because purple's it is very expensive, um, so you might want to go ahead and just get the blue. Or, like I said, just go in and farm a dungeon with a friend. Um, two of you have both of your companions out, and then just kind of farm those over and over. Like I said, they don't have to be on, it don't have to be a very difficult dungeon or have to be on a high difficulty. As long as your companion's out, you'll have a good chance of getting those drops. Anyway, guys, let me comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about companion gear crafting. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.